XRP is up over 7% in the last 24 hours, but that's not the news on this juicy, let's get the hell out of work Friday. Yep, I've got more XRP juiciness as yet another company comes out there to defend XRP Ripple Labs in the SEC case. Gary Gensler still has zero friends. And I've got a story for you that's going to put a smile on your face this Friday. So if you don't really feel like working, just tell your boss you feel sick, run to the bathroom, and watch Crypto with Klaus. Seriously, if you're at work and you are bummed out, don't worry, the week is almost over. And I swear I have a story that is going to make you smile. It's going to make you so warm and fuzzy feeling inside. It's going to make you feel like Christmas morning and wrapping a gift and getting exactly what you wanted when you were eight years old. All right, heat map right now tells us that Bitcoin is at 20,713. ETH just under 1,615.9 to 7. XRP, the highlight of this pretty video, is sitting right now at 49 cents up, seven and a half the last 24 hours. Doge, again, what have we seen, everyone, right? These pops that happen, they can never hold Doge down six and a half percent to 12.1 jp morgan comes out and says hey guess what we may be in a prolonged slump why because venture capital is going to be pulling back their money it's honestly no surprise because as the fed jacks up rates the cost of money becomes more expensive taking loans whether they're for home loans auto loans businesses and so forth they all go up with the fed rate hike so yeah of course there's going to be less money going in because of holy crap the fed jacking up rates like what 300 plus points here in the last several months like nuts nuts stuff everyone but now let's put a smile on your face and let's go ripple centric xrp news the rest of this video so like i said if you're hiding in that bathroom at work because you told your boss you had a sour stomach you're a smart person you should get a raise yep get a raise all right ripples director vacancy gets an unexpected applicant all right so here's check this out so remember how um the director was like yeah you know i kind of want to do other things blah 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 okay well that spot is open now do you guys want to know who applied for this job Oh, come on. Controversial crypto blogger Ben Armstrong, known as BitBoy Crypto, applied for the role. And here is his tweet. And oh my gosh, like I said, I think it snows even in the South. Why? Because when he does these dumb ass things, they're always so crazy early in the morning. At 2.24 in the morning. Yeah, what are you doing 2.24 in the morning there? <laughs> Sorry, I have a little bit of allergy problems. Wait, well, short story inspired by Joel Katz starring Ben Armstrong. Here he goes. He applied for the job. Thank you for applying. Your application has been received. If there's a fit, someone from our recruiting team will reach out to you. Well, let me play you a super quick clip that should be attached to Ben Armstrong's resume. And I am the master and commander and supreme leader of the XRP army. With imagination, I can be anything I want. A pirate. I. A football player. Ha. A starfish. Now, what does that mean? I don't give a shit. That means that just with a wave of my hand. I can send the XRP army out to do damage all across this great nation. Pakistan! I told you as we're sneaking off to the bathroom to watch crypto with Klaus. Seriously, you should get a raise. Brilliant people. XRP News. SEC seeks more time to reply. Yeah, there has been so much support on the side of Ripple Labs Team XRP out there that now the SEC is like, yeah, we got to delay stuff even more because we are behind. So even though the SEC has the unlimited resources of the U.S. pocketbook, right, the money printer known as our tax dollars, the SEC is delaying things yet again, which is going to cost more money for everyone, right? Because delays in courts mean who wins, everyone? Just the lawyers. That's it. The U.S. Securities SEC has been called out for dragging XP lawsuit by using different tactics multiple times. Well, they're adding another one. Attorney James Deaton informed that the SEC has filed a motion to extend the time to file all parties' reply briefs. The commission has asked the court to grant them time until November 30th. However, it asked the court that any additional amicus briefs to be filed by November 11th. So what they're trying to say is we want to put a stop to all the people that are coming out in support of Ripple Labs Team XRP. Now that though leads me in to the next story. Boom, another friend. Yep, Gary, how many friends do you have? Wait, wait, wait. Remember guys, it's Friday for Gary too. Gary, are you watching this alone, like at work? 
your work phone's not ringing, your cell phone's not ringing. Are you depressed because like no one wants to play with you? No one wants to hang out? Do you not have any plans this Friday night, Gary? I'm sorry. Well, anyways, XRP lawsuit, very Dow files for amicus supporting Ripple. Yes, defense lawyer James Filan said this, the members of very Dow have the unique experience of being downstream. Important. Why? Because we are downstream everyone. Yes, we're also the secondary market. But anyways, downstream, unaffiliated, and secondary holders of a digital asset in which certain central persons were sued by the SEC. The fallout of such SEC action has left downstream, unaffiliated holders of very tokens with no confidence or guidance on what they can legally do with their assets. Very Dow said that through its amicus curiae brief, it would assist the court in understanding the broader implications of its decisions on those involved with crypto. Yes, everyone, crypto is not just like what Gary Gary Gensler thinks it's a security. No, it's not just a blanket thing. There is so much more use for it. That's why I've been a massive proponent of creating a totally different structure to label all this stuff because of all the use cases. Yes, are some people using it as an investment strategy? Of course. A bunch of people are using it though for payments. Some people are using it for tickets to get on an access chain. So, so apparently a cold front must have moved into Atlanta and it's been snowing, especially at 2.24 a.m. where BitBoy Crypto resides. Yep, everyone, he applied for the job for director of Ripple Labs. This guy is such a populist pig out there. It is super gross. Would you guys really want the XRP commander having anything to do directly with Ripple Labs? Oh my God, no. Anyways, the good news though is this. More people are coming out to support Team XRP. The SEC is also asking for more time to file replies and is even saying, hey, can we put a cap ending at November 11th? Can we cap this? I want to hear what the judge says because I would love the judge to say, you know what? No. We're going to give these people till, let's say, December 30th, some big date like that, right? And watch the flood of companies that come in to file support for Team Ripple Labs XRP. Sorry, Gary, you're watching this by yourself. You're going to have a lonely Friday night. Sorry about that, sir. You're probably going to be playing with yourself. Anyways, guys, I hope you had fun. I hope you enjoyed a little bit lighter tone of this Friday video to get you through to the finish line of this work week. Thank you very much for watching. As more news with XRP, Ripple Apps, SEC case, anything to deal with that, I will be sure to inform you. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. If you like this kind of stuff, check out this very cool XRP video right here. And I'll catch you cool cats later. Not you, Gary. You can go suck off.